In this example here, you can see I've painted a tree in winter with a branch going to the right and a branch going to the left of the trunk. That's relatively easy to do. But of course, if we only have branches going to the left and right, it can look a little bit two dimensional. So I've just got a number two brush, a detailer, and some really thick dark brown, burnt sienna and ultramarine blue. I'm going to put a branch here coming from the centre of the trunk to appear as though it's coming towards us. It comes out like that. Maybe dips down, get a few branches coming from it. Good to get a branch that comes across it and cuts across the trunk like that. Wants to be a bit wider where it leaves the trunk. And I've got a bit more of the dark brown and put in a little ring or mark underneath it. That's quite important. That helps to really place it. I've just painted here a little example of the towpath at the side of this canal. And notice that I've put right at the foreground of the path some warm colour. I've dropped a bit of extra burnt sienna into that to warm it up. That will come through at the end of the picture to create a, a warm glow in the foreground. I'm going to mix some shadow colour. Very important when you're mixing shadow colours that you do get it strong enough to have some impact, but thin enough to appear transparent. It's got to look as though you can actually see the path underneath these warm shadows. So I'm taking some cobalt blue and I'm making that into a sort of purple colour with a little bit of rose madder. I want to try and create the effect of dappled shadow from all this foliage. And remember, a lot of this foliage isn't actually in the scene. It's off to the right hand side, but it still is affecting this scene by the shadows that it's casting across the path. So I'm starting with a smaller brush. This is a number four to make the shadow marks, the dappled marks from the shadow a little bit smaller the further away from as they are. So I'm starting up the path here and bringing some quite strong shadows across the path with that broken dappled shape. A lot of people say to me that they're, they're afraid to do the shadows because they've spoilt paintings that many times. And a key to it is not to scrub away with the brush, to paint them quite quickly and loosely, leaving a few gaps between them to get that dappled effect.